former Felda chairman Tan Sri Muhammad Isa Abdul Samad has been sentenced to six years jail and fined 15.4 million ringgit by the High Court on Wednesday. This comes after he was found guilty by the High Court of nine counts of graft involving more than 3 million ringgit relating to a hotel purchase in Sarawak. In his judgment, Justice Muhammad Nazran Muhammad Ghazali said, Muhammad Isa's defence had failed to raise any doubt in the prosecution's case against him. Muhammad Isa was charged with nine counts of dishonestly receiving gratification for himself in cash totaling 3 million and 90,000 ringgit from Ikhwan, who is a board member of Gagasan Abadi Property Syndrome Berhad, through one Muhammad Zahid Muhammad Arif, as gratification for helping to approve the purchase of the Merdeka Palace Hotel and Suites by FIC for 160 million ringgit. All the offences were allegedly committed at Level 49, Menara Felda, Platinum Park, Persiran KLCC near here between July 2014 and December 2015. All the charges were framed under Section 16A of the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission or MACC Act 2009, punishable under Section 24 of the same law, which provides for a jail term not exceeding 20 years and a fine of at least five times the bribe amount, 10,000 ringgit, or whichever is higher upon conviction. The court allowed Muhammad Isa's application for a stay of execution of the jail sentence and fine pending the disposal of his appeal at the Court of Appeal. The court also increased bail from 800,000 ringgit to 1.5 million ringgit, whereby Muhammad Isa has to pay 700,000 ringgit by 2 pm on Thursday. Muhammad Isa is also required to report himself at the nearest police station on the first day of every month until the disposal of the appeal. Earlier, Muhammad Isa's lawyer, Datuk Saleh Houdin Saidin said his client will be filing an appeal on Thursday. So, kita akan filekan rayuan besok, uh, insyaAllah dan Tan Sri juga telah dibenarkan untuk mendapat perintah uh, tahanan tangguhan kepada uh, perintah uh, tahanan dan juga fine. Jadi, Alhamdulillah, uh, Tan Sri masih lagi uh, boleh bergerak bebas uh, sehinggalah ke tarikh rayuan yang akan ditetapkan kemudian di mahkamah rayuan. Eh.